Hello, this is UpTrail71 and we're at Pictured Rocks, Michigan today and we'll be staying one night at the Cliffs Campground and I'll be testing out a new Darien Dream Hammock that I purchased. And we parked at the Sand Point area and that's where I usually park for my winter camping. So I'll show some footage of my winter camping as we go through up this hike. 84? Yeah, we got about 84 degrees out right now. It's a little bit of a late start. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a gorgeous day. There is a nice breeze, so it does feel good. And low tonight is supposed to get down to around 64. So I'll be using my Costco, Costco top quilt. Uh, we're starting to see a few fall colors. It's late September. Now our average high should be around 59 for this time of the year. So 84 degrees, that is extremely warm. And this trail from the parking lot to Cliffs Campground is a little over, little over three miles. And this will be the first time my wife has ever taken this trail. So everything she sees will be new to her. And of course, you've seen I've done this hike quite a few times on uh, solo hikes. And I chose the Cliffs Campground again because that was uh, one of the very few campsites left. And it's close within cell phone distance. It's one of the very few campsites and pictured rocks that you can get cell service. Uh, just off of this trail, we'll get some nice views of Lake Superior. And you can see there's some cliffs off in the distance. And now we're back on a trail. Look at all that moss down there. It's a really neat color. And we're seeing our share of squirrels around here. Thompson, you just had a pine cone in his mouth. He ran into the woods with it. And now we get to start going uphill. But they have a lot of steps that make it a lot easier. And right here is where we come up to all those rock formations and yeah, a real small waterfall. I remember last winter, this is all formed with ice around here. It's an extremely beautiful area in the wintertime with all the ice formations on the rocks. And then we have our last climb of steps and then we'll be up to the top. Be 4.1 miles to Miner's Castle, and of course there's 0.8 miles to where we parked at Sand Point. And we'll be going to the cliffs. Well, the guys back there are practicing in case of emergency in the cliffs. So that was kind of neat to watch a little bit of that. Oh, so far this trail has plenty of wet sections been dodging mud for a little ways now. Yeah, here's one of the little small waterfalls. Looks a little different around here compared to when we come in the winter. One thing in the winter, at least all the trails are frozen, so you don't have to worry about any mud. Now we're going to stop here nice breeze because it's in the mid 80s today and right over there you can see Sand Point that's where our parking lot is and we're parked nice view of Lake Superior see Grand Island as we went backpacking a few weeks ago now you can see one of the tour boats out there oh, what do you think of the view is here down right away. Yeah, it's a good drop off. Wonder how much longer that trail lasts. Yeah, not much longer, that's for sure. That's a good drop off around here. 
And now we're coming up this little bridge. And this is my favorite little waterfall on this section of the trail. Remember I had some really cool video footage from last winter. So neat. Uh, we decided to drop our packs here, and this would be a good place to filter some water. How's that feel? That was a nice, short, little refreshing break. And now we're gonna be getting back on the trail. Uh, here it looks like they finally cut these limbs off this huge tree that broke off. Last year, it was blocking the trail. It made it very hard to get around. Look at the size of the roots from that tree. Okay. It's pretty interesting grain, eh? Bark. Yeah, it's a huge cedar tree. Oh, uh, this is why I like when we come up to openings like this. I never get tired of seeing Lake Superior. The water is so clear around here. Yeah, and here's the trees. I always call these trees my sitting bench. So I think it's my wife's turn to sit on it. Actually, the Native Americans used to bend these tra trees to use them as trail markers. Yeah, we watched that on a show one time. They bend the trees like this so when they grew older, they'd be markers and Okay, now we're almost at the cliff's campground. So it should be just on the other side of this tree roots over here. And of course this will be my wife's very first time camping at the cliffs. Wow, right next to the cliff's campground. Wow. Looks like part of the cliff gave away. I don't remember seeing this before. Wow, this is something. You can see why it can be dangerous around uh, cliff areas. You just never know when the ground can give away. Because most of the cliffs around here is made out of sandstone. Wow, you get one amazing view from here, that's for sure. Yeah, and right next to that opening for the cliff area is a cliff's campground. So I'll be going up here about 300 feet in this direction. And this will be cliff's campground where all the campsites are. Okay, now I'm starting to set up my new Darien Dream Hammock. Take a good look at it here. It is a single layer 1.6, I decided to go with a little heavier fabric because they claim there's less stretch. And I'm using cinch buckles with straps and I had the Dutch clips on it. My wife is setting up her war bonnet blackbird. 
It's a, I think they call it a Moroccan blue. Such a good color, looks nice. It should go good with the black under quilt that I have. And I'll be using my Costco top quilt. And it's only supposed to get into the low 60s tonight. And the Costco top quilt will go down to about 55, so it should be plenty warm. And this is the other side. The Dutch clip. I'll have to adjust this a little better. It's supposed to be this way. I want less stress on the strap. But I'll do the fine tuning later. Now I have the tarp set up over the hammock. I have it set higher because it's warm out tonight and it's not supposed to rain at all. And you can see what the new hammock looks like. It's a right lay. Well, let's see how she's doing with her tarp set up. Now well, that looks relaxing. And now I got my under quilt all set up. And I'll leave it a little looser tonight. Let a little bit air through since it'll be in the low 60s. Oh, what'd you find there? A painted rock. What's on there? Some little guy, is that? Looks like people in the canoe here on Lake Superior. And a little guy here, I don't know. With some fangs? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And the, whoever did it initialed it. Yeah, Lena, some form. <laughs> now let's take a little walk around here and see what it looks like at this campground. Yeah, right over here would be the second campsite. And the third one will be behind a bear box. Which seems a little close to the bear pole and bear box to me. And you should be at least a hundred feet away from this. And the fire pit's right there. It's a nice little group fire pit. It's the only one that's allowed in a campground. Uh, now I'm going to try laying in this hammock for the very first time. Definitely nice sitting in. Plenty of room. Ridge lines just over my head. And now let's try laying down in it. Oh, this is extremely comfortable. It's actually better than I expected. I wasn't sure with the 10 foot hammock. Now let me try closing up the bug net. Oh, yeah. Bug net works very good. Zippers work perfect. Yes, I really like it. And I see a mosquito flying outside of me right now. I like the half foot, but sometimes it's nice just to have the full net. Now my wife has given the dream hammock a try. What do you think so far? Ah, it's ten times better. I know, extremely comfortable on a first test. Okay, now I think we're going to go for a short little day hike since we have at least a couple of hours before sunset. We're taking our day hike right now maybe a couple hundred yards from the cliffs campground you'll find this small stream. It's a good little water source. Yeah, this is a nice walkway. I have to assume it, at one time it must have been extremely muddy through this area. Look at that size of that cedar tree. That thing is huge. Now we decided that we would walk this path for a little ways until we found the first opening with a view. Oh, well, we yeah, think we went. <laughs> Oh, well that's some mud coming up. So maybe we won't continue on looking for the view. <laughs> that looks like a disaster to go through. So we're just going to turn around here. But I think we hiked about half of a mile, eh? Yeah. Alright, so we'll just start heading back to the campsite and then we'll cook ourselves some supper.
add something to it? That's mac and cheese, coffee, a lot of our same old. My beef stroganoff with noodles. That makes a decent supper. Well, we're starting to get ready now to watch the sunset. And it looks like it's one of the boat cruises out there. To get these amazing views like this, this is what nature did to this area. It's like a landslide that went right over the cliff. And before this happened, it was all thick trees just like that. Well, it kind of looks like this will be the best that we'll see with the sunset since it's getting cloudy. But this is a very nice spot to sit here and watch for a sunset. Yeah, it's not hard to find my hammock with those Dutch's lights. Now I'll finish setting up my wife's tarp here. Still got it in the lounging mode. And we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Uh, good morning everyone. It's about 7.35 Eastern Time. The sun will be rising very soon. See it's a little hazy out. Not bad. You can see a cliff's uh, crossed by Grand Island. It's a beautiful morning out. It's in the low 60s. I think we'll be breaking down our hammock soon. Make a quick little breakfast and get on the trail. It's only a little over three mile hike out, but we'll have an early start. Rather than taking out my cook set, I'm just gonna eat this for breakfast this morning. And then we'll get on the trail. Looks like she's starting to break down her hammock already. Usually we'll break our hammocks down first, then take the tarps down last, but there is not one single cloud out today. And sometimes it's just nice to take everything off without the tarp on. That little chipmunk's looking for something. He's right next to us. He found a little, must be a little tiny crumb in the ground. Yep. He must be used to feeding off of people, even scraps around. Yeah. Now we're starting to get the morning sunrise. The good thing is we got our hammocks all broken down now, and we'll be getting on a trail early. I'll make sure I didn't leave anything behind, and we'll be getting back on a trail. We're now leaving the Cliffs Campground. We'll be going back to Sand Point, just a little over three miles from here. I think this is the area last winter that I was. And I had snow building up on my pack. Yeah, we just washed up a little bit in that stream back there. 
the nice cool water felt good. Feels good to get clean. I like this cover through here. So there's a beautiful part of the trail. Very few leaves are changed yet. The peak season is going to be right around October 20th. So it's still about four weeks away. Now we made it up to this junction here. 2.7 if you go to Munising Falls and it's 0.8 to Sand Point and that's where we'll be going. Down these stairs. You can hear the water running over the small cliff over there. Oh wow, near Sand Point. There's this cool marsh area and there's a walkway that goes all the way through it. I've never checked this out before. We'll come back and see what it looks like another time. So our trip is almost over. It's almost the end of the year. We have one more trip planned. And hopefully one day soon, I'll get to meet Tim Watson. Maybe we can do a hike together. I enjoy watching his hiking videos. And once again, thanks for watching Up Trail 71.